Chris, WahhabiKing.com, and today we have the HK Pilot Mega Micro. Now, we've had the Mini for a little bit. Now, this is the Micro Set, and we wanted to basically miniaturize everything to be able to let you guys put this stuff on smaller uh, vehicles such as the trifecta little 230 250 type of quads so you guys can utilize basically full uav features in a micro size tiny fun portable package so let's go ahead and dive into this this uh, right here is the hk pilot micro now it's based off of the hk pilot mega 2.7 it's the exact same hardware it's the exact same architecture so it has all those great fixes that uh, came from the, uh, the open source community based off of the 2.5.2 if you're not familiar with the HK Pilot Mega uh, and or the Micro, which is the, the smaller variant of it, uh, it's based on the APM project or Audio Pilot Mega, uh, spearheaded by 3DR Robotics. We have a lot of information. If you look at the, uh, the information uh, related to the product itself, we have uh, uh, links that direct you back to uh, 3DR and uh, DIY drones, as well as all the information on this, as well as information under the Files tab related to the uh, the CAD files and PCB files for these uh, so you can manufacture one yourself and that is in compliance with the open source uh, licensing with the, this uh, type of product since it is a variant. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So like I was mentioning it is based off of the uh, the HK Pilot Mega 2.7 so it has all that same great architecture and fixes it's just a lot smaller. The form factor of this one is the new standardization which is the CC3D, the NAS32, the KK Mini uh, the, the open pilot uh, Revo um, bunch of them, which is 35 millimeters square and 30.5 on the mount pad. So it, it utilizes all that. And it, like I mentioned, it of course has all the same sensors. Uh, now how you're able to access and get to these sensors is basically external plug-in cables. I uh, just go ahead and plug it in. It's got all the pins on it on that. Um, and uh, you basically can utilize what you need and clip and cut and or lift the tabs and remove what you don't need. So it's just a minimalist uh, design. Uh, perfect for these smaller applications. So I'm not going to dive into a lot of information about the HK Pilot uh, because there's just tons of information on it. Go ahead and jump on DIY drones and jump on 3DR if you're not familiar with this project. It's an awesome flight controller. It basically can control everything from a tricopter, uh, octocopters, all the way down to rovers, boats, um, basically you name it, uh, this can definitely do it. So definitely check this one out. So let's go ahead and talk about the rest of the package. Now each of these individual components are available individually except the telemetry radio. It's a package with the, uh, the ground module uh, as well as what we call a master set which is everything together which is basically a UAV in a box. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down and jump on to the next one. This is the power distribution module, BEC and voltage amperage sensor all built into one uh, basically the same form factor, 35 by 35 millimeter platform. That allows you to build basically a power stack or tower of power as I call it right there. So uh, it has the uh, power distribution boards, meaning it has different solder pads allowing you to uh, solder your ESCs right on, onto this, as well as power inputs. It has the BEC output, which goes up utilizing a single cable to the uh, HK Pilot Micro, uh, which go, w feeds at 5.3 volts, which uh, uh, handles five uh, volts after the diode. So it uh, powers this absolutely just fine, as well as it has the, uh, the voltage and amperage sensor built right into there. So you're going to get that feedback via telemetry or OSD uh, right on there. So it's a really nice tiny little package right there. Where the power sensor in the past was in line, this is now part of the, the, uh, the power distribution board. And you can just create a nice little stack on that. Actually, I have one right here to give you a, a better idea. So that is the power distribution board, BEC, and sensor. And that is the, uh, the micro right on top of it. You got your uh, BEC, I'm sorry, your ESC wires coming right out of that. And that is PPM in via uh, that for my radio and uh, power in from my battery itself. So that basically would go right into a 250 micro and I'm, I'm basically set with everything I need except for some external modules. Let's go ahead and talk about those. First one is the micro OSD. Now a lot of people that fly smaller uh, quads don't necessarily need telemetry radio, but they want the OSD, which gives you of course feedback, uh, position, um, just all kinds of useful information, altitude and, and stuff. This is now a micro-sized OSD. It runs all the same great open source software, so you're able to get in there and hack it, use uh, the information you need to use, uh, delete the stuff you don't need, move things around so you can customize it the way you want. It's uh, Mavlink compatible, so it's actually uh, able to be used on a number of different flight controllers, but a really awesome micro-sized OSD, OSD. You can just see how tiny that is. Next, uh, this is pretty much a game changer right here. This is the telemetry radio. This basically replaces this. 
which was between the receiver and everything on board on these little mini quads and smaller aircraft was, uh, you know, it was pros and cons whether you had this or you just ran and pulled all your information via an OSD if you're flying FPV. So you can see the size difference of this. But the difference is it's using the exact same chip and the exact same power output, the whole nine yards. Difference is the antenna. We've shrunk down, uh, of course, the PCB, and the antenna is now integrated and it's squiggly lined. You can actually see it right there on the, uh, on the board itself. So it's a PCB antenna. Now, is that antenna gonna perform as good as something like this? Of course not, uh, but is it gonna be good enough for the application this is designed for? Absolutely. You're probably gonna lose about 20% range over this type of antenna, but uh, this is absolutely perfect for telemetry if you wanna do like a follow me where you're using this on an OTG to an Android phone and you're gonna do a, like a, a follow me type of application or update parameters or, or fly you know, well within line of sight or you know, a little bit out. Uh, this radio is going to be absolutely perfect for that and due to its size you pretty much can put it in absolutely anything. Comes in two variants, uh, uh, 915 or 40 th 433. Comes as part of the master set and or you can buy it individually and it comes with the ground module itself. Ground module can be uh, hooked up via the UART, via FTD cable or the USB and it comes with the, uh, the match antenna. And it also comes with an OTG cable uh, as well as computer cable depending on what you're running, uh, mission planner etc. And so that is the new telemetry radio with built-in antenna, just uber small, still has the exact same power output, 100 milliamps, which is uh, adjustable via the software itself. So you definitely check that out. And lastly, GPS. Got a nice sticker on there that points direction, and the reason for that is uh, internal compass. You're able to go into the uh, flight controller, it has a little pad in there that you cut, it disables the onboard compass, and now you can use the external compass available on this GPS unit. Uh, that gets the, uh, the magnometer up and away from sources of interference such as motors, uh, power distribution boards, etc. Uh, really nice and handy and so it has that option right on there. Now, uh, difference is we had a micro um, GPS and uh, we tried to develop it to be as small as possible. It used the Max 7 chip and a 15 by 15 uh, element and it just took forever to get locked on. There was uh, problems with it being able to get updated uh, due to the battery and, and a bunch of different other issues. So we went back to the drawing board and we said we want something that's guaranteed, proven to work, but is uber small and light. And this is it. This is the Neo 6M, which is the uh, pretty much the base for everything uh, as far as GPS and multi-rotors and UAVs. There's definitely better chipsets out there, but this is the proven uh, backbone to most uh, systems out there. So it's the Neo 6M chipset and it's using the full size 25 by 25 element. Uh, has onboard compass, but we we're able to get this to within one gram of the original micro that we put out, which was the 15 millimeter by 15 millimeter element using the Max 7 chipset. Uh, uber small little GPS unit, perfect match to this entire setup. Guys, this is everything. This is UAV basically squished down into a, a cube that you can get as small as this. Uh, I'm going to give you some weights on all this information, so let's go ahead and put it on the scale so you can see what you can get into this. And it's absolutely perfect for those smaller little microplanes, micro UAVs doing little waypoint missions or, or quadcopters uh, with videos, uh, Mobiuses on them doing uh, follow me action sports or any of this type of application. Like I was mentioning, this can be utilized from everything from a rover to a submarine to a boat, aircraft, uh, quadcopters, multi-rotors, you can use it on pretty much anything. Uh, definitely check out the information like I was mentioning in the link itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the scale. And there we go, we're zeroed out. First up is the telemetry radio. 1.5 grams on the telemetry radio, and that's what the antenna built into it. Next is our OSD. 1.8 grams on the OSD itself. Power distribution module, uh, BEC and sensors. 4.6 on that one. And next is the actual uh, HK Pilot Micro, 2.7.2. .2. 5 grams on that one and our GPS unit. 9.6 grams right there. Crazy tiny. I'm going to go ahead and throw them all up on here. This is the uh, this is UAV, an entire UAV system sitting on the scale. 22.5 grams total for everything right here. That would be absolutely perfect for even a little 230 quad. You'll have a full UAV, return to home, OSD, telemetry feedback. Basically, it's you can see how small it is. This thing is absolutely awesome. I've been testing it out, obviously, on a bunch of different quads. Uh, it works flawlessly. Uh, really nice uh, quality on the the, uh, the boards themselves. So if you take a look at some of these shots where it zooms in, you can see that they're coated. The uh, the 
The soldering and everything is top quality on it. Definitely check this out if you are familiar with the HK Pilot, the APM project. If you're not, this is still a great uh, start because it comes with all the cables that basically is plug and play. And to top it off, comes with even a little manual that shows what plugs into what. So uh, that's it, guys. Check it out. It's up on the new items page already. And as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will see you guys next time.